Hello everyone, this is Prodigious TCC, that's Prodigious the Trading Card Collector, and today we're going to be taking a look at the starter deck for One Piece, Absolute Justice. So this is like the Navy deck. Um, I received it two weeks ago, but I was on vacation, and then I came back from vacation, I was super sick, and then I had to house it for my parents who went on vacation, so this is the first time I've actually been able to get my hands on it, and take a look at it and see what I think. Uh, but I pre-ordered it, which is great because it was uh, $16.99 pre-order, I believe, roughly, uh, Canadian, which is about $11.99 American. Um, so I pre-ordered it, and then the day that it went live to buy it, jumped up to $32.99. So you got to pre-order this stuff. Um, another... Uh, ba -ba -ba little sheet here for how to play in your little uh, setup area all your stuff on the back same thing as the uh, kid Eustace one that I got now someone did say which I found was interesting because I was like these are huge these are absolutely ginormous boxes like look at this like ridiculous right it's just it's way too big it's but then someone said but if you are keeping them sealed and you stack them up they look like a uh, a manga book so like if that's sitting on your shelf and you had a bunch of them it looks like manga volumes and i was like i'll let you get away with it for this time next time because it's true it does it looks exactly like um a manga volume i don't have any compare to compare it to because all i have is manga omnibuses because like you can see here Maybe you look at the side-by-side -side of my Rironi Kenshin. It's got like the little number there. I mean, I can I can see how, now this is an omnibus, so it's, it's bigger. I can definitely see how that looks like a manga volume. So, yeah, okay. Okay, so now that that's all out of the way, let's take a look, a look at what you get in the One Piece Absolute Justice um, starter deck. So you get your 10 Dawn. Your 10 Dawn. And here is your leader. This is your uh, Sakazuki, I believe is how it's pronounced. Your Sakazuki leader card, 5,000 power um, activate on your main once per turn for three dawn you may rest the specified number of dawn cards in your cost area so down here if i rest three dawn i may trash one card from my hand and ko up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of zero all right so then we've got a smoker 7,000 power, cost of 5. This character cannot be KO'd by effects. Dawn 1. If there is a character with a cost of 0, this character gains double attack. Nice. I've got two of those. I've got a Monkey D Garp. 5 cost, 6,000 power. And it says, activate main. You may trash one card for your, from your hand and reset this character. So, I can do that as many times as I want. Oh, sorry, rest, not reset. Because I was like, oh, I could just get rid of my hand and attack, and attack, and attack. Uh, rest this character. KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less. So, it looks like we're going to be looking at trying to clear the board to do some attacking. Cost of one, 2,000 power with a counter of 1,000. We've got Kobe. Uh, on play, you may trash one card from your hand, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with cost of zero or less. Well, cost of zero. I added the or less. I don't think there's a minus one cost. Uh, and then we've got Django, a counter of a thousand, a one cost, three thousand power. Looks like we've got four of him. Uh, five cost, six thousand power. We've got Sengoku, 
uh, with a counter of a thousand and it says when attacking give up to one of your opponent's characters minus four costs during this turn so you're going to be attacking with sengoku give them a minus four cost hopefully get them down to that zero and you can start getting rid of them one two three four uh we have got uh tashigi a counter of plus two thousand three cost four thousand power active main you may rest this character give up to one of your opponent's characters minus two minus two cost during your turn one two three four of those guys so those are going to be ones you're going to be using to bring those numbers down to zero then you'll be using your other characters to just ko them um, to clear their board and then once the board is cleared you can just start swinging right at the leader um we've got a uh suru two cost 2000 power 1000 counter and this is a blocker so i can use this to block attacks for my leaders or also for my uh my sengoku and my uh tashigi and yeah so i want to be i want to use i want to block for those so that i can drop those numbers down um so that i can ko them and then we've got a hina uh no counter three cost five thousand power on play give up to one of your opponent characters minus four cost during this turn so play some hinas got two of them um uh, play some hinas drop those numbers ko's all that kind of stuff uh, then we've got a full body, a 1,000 counter, 2 cost, 4,000 power. Uh, we've got a Helmepo, uh, 1,000 counter, uh, 2 cost, 3,000 power on play. Give up to one of your opponent's characters, minus 3 cost during this turn. So another on play only. So after you play them, you can, um, if they get knocked out, so be it, because it's on play only. Whereas your boo, 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 uh, activate main, so for my uh, Tashigi and for my Sengoku, those can be activated uh, whenever I attack and on main. So those can be done over and over again, whereas on play can only be do done once. Uh, then we've got a Momonga, uh, 1000 counter, 4 cost, 6000 power, uh, T Bone, 1000 counter. Three cost, five thousand power, and then now we're in to our um, event cards. So we've got counter uh, up to one of your up to one of your leader or character cards gain four thousand power during this battle. Then KO up to one of your opponent's active characters with cost of three or less. So again, um, for two cost, I can throw this down. I can save my leader or whoever I want from getting attacked or from. Uh, taking damage or dying and then I can also knock out a opponent's character depending on what I've played and if I've gotten their uh, values down got two of those uh, great eruption event card trigger so this means these are both triggers which means that if they are in your life and you pull them they automatically affect KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less which is great because if you pull this triggers that's nice uh, we've got this one costs one main draw one card then give up to one of your opponent's characters minus two cost during this turn so this one's not a counter but this one is good for bringing numbers down again um, trigger your opponent chooses one of their cards from their hand and trashes it okay uh, ba -ba -ba. and then we've got white out which is uh, for one cost it's a counter up to one of your leader or characters gain 2,000 power during the turn and trigger draw one card and none of your characters can be KO'd during this turn. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet trigger. I got four of those. And then I got some stages. I've got two of these Navy HQ stages. On play. Oh, cost one. On play. Give up to one of your opponent's characters minus one cost during this turn. Okay. So when this first goes down, somebody gets minus one. And then activate main. I may rest the stage. If your leader has the Navy type, which... You can see here the uh, Saikazuki right there says Navy. So my leader does have the Navy type. Um, give up to one of your opponent characters minus one cost during this turn. So every turn I can basically just uh, I can uh, uh, just minus one 
from an opponent's uh, character, which uh, on play and yeah, perfect. That's awesome. So this deck seems like it's really, really based on um, bringing those numbers low with um, we've got on plays. We've got Helm, uh, Helmepo, which is on play to drop costs. And we've got uh, Hina, which is another on play cost drop. So those are the two ways for on plays, which can only be done once. And then uh, Tashigi, which is active main to drop by two. And then uh, Sengoku, which is when attacking, drop by four. So those are going to be how we're going to be dropping the, um, the character's cost limit. And then on play with Kobe, we can trash a character with a cost of zero. And then Monkey D Garp, I can activate this to uh, trash a character your K, sorry, KO a character uh, with four or less. And I got Smoker, which this card looks so nice. Uh, Smoker, I can uh, attack if there's a character with zero cost. So I can do some double attacks, which is great. So I can bring them down, knock them out, attack twice 7,000 7,000 that's a pretty good score or a pretty good power and then I've got my uh, leader who lets me trash a card and KO up to one of my opponent's characters with the cost of zero so a lot of clearing the board and uh, yeah so clearing the board and attacking through because if I can clear the board and then I can get that smoker boom double attack on a leader that's pretty sick and uh that's just a really cool deck i'm really excited to give it a go i love the uh leader uh saikazuki looks really cool i mean i don't know why Django's up there Django, get back there Sm i think smoker is my favorite card like that looks so good that looks incredible uh monkey d garp is okay but that's this smoker card just so cool, so cool. Uh, so I'm looking, at, I'm looking at my monitor to get a, a high res, bigger look at it. Looks like it's just pulled from a colorized uh, panel. It could be, who knows? Um, anyway, so this has been the absolute justice starter deck. I cannot wait to take a crack at playing it. Um, the One Piece game is super fun. I've played it a couple times, and I really, really, really enjoy it. Now I need to sleeve this deck up and put it in a deck box. But until then, I'm putting it back into here. Um, but I cannot wait to play more. Uh, this one looks awesome. I may have to pre-order some other decks coming out. I've seen, I've seen some coming out in May and June. Um, and I'm really excited to get my hands on them. But uh, if you want to follow any of my social medias, um, I have linked below all prodigious tcc i've got instagram i've got twitter and i've got tiktok um, if you would like to uh leave a like hit the subscribe button bell notification all that stuff really helps the channel grow leave me a comment telling me if you play the one piece card game uh if you do what deck do you play did you pick up absolute justice have you pre-ordered any other decks uh because i think pre-order is obviously the way to go because when they come out prices skyrocket and that is no fun to play to pay double for this when it comes out that's not cool <laughs> that's not cool um anyways my name has been prodigious tcc that is prodigious the trading card collector and until i see you next time have a fantastic day